Hello everyone, hope all is well today. My name is Jelamat. So what's the plan for today? Today we'll discuss the association between two numerical variables. Uh, firstly, we will import some data with R. Uh, let's call the data frame data. I will use the function read.table to import data and assign it to the data frame data. Uh, the first argument is going to be file.choose. This is force R to open up a window to ask me where is this file. Then header equal to true because the first row will have the names of my columns. And then sep will be slash T with quotation marks to indicate to R that, well, I have tabs between or to delimit my columns. So it's a tab delimited file. And so as I enter, a window opens and I need to find my file. So I browse through my system. I have a folder called our stuff where I have my file called trees. And then to display the names of my columns, I use the function called names. And here we see that we have two variables, one called diameter, one called age. And so uh, to describe the association between the two, these are actually the numerical variables, I can start by constructing a, a scatter plot. So this is done by using the function plot. Now, because my names are a bit long, so diameter, for example, I'll call them actually y and x to make it simpler in terms of entry of variables. And so I'll rename my one variable, so I'll assign the diameter to y. So I'll use the name of my data frame, data, dollar sign, and then the name of the variable or the column. And then the x, I'll assign age. So data, na name of the data frame, dollar sign, age is the name of the column. So now I have y against x, so I'll plot x comma y, and this will give us a plot of the diameter against the age. Um, you might want to um, give nicer labels for y and x, so you can use y lab x lab. So y lab, this is the label for oops, the vertical axis, so y is going to be diameter. And this is in inches. And then X lab, this is the label for the X axis. And then here I'll have age in years. And so now I have a scatter plot of my diameter against the age. Uh, you might want to include or overlay a line of best fit. This will be a least squares line. So I can use a function called AB line. And then to get the least squares line, I use LM for linear model, and then I have y as a function of x. So I use the tilt symbol, just this is the symbol character close to the escape key on your keyboard. So y as a function of x. And so now I have my scatter plot with the least squares line overlaid. And so here we could describe the association as being linear and positive. Uh, we could describe the intensity of the linear relationship by using a correlation. So I can compute the correlation by using the function called core. So y and x. So the correlation between two variables is 0.95. I might want also to test that the correlation is not uh, equal to zero. So this tests the significance of the correlation by using the function called core.test. So this gives us a p-value, uh, which is very small, so it's 8 times 10 to the minus 16, so this is almost zero. So we have very strong evidence against the null hypothesis that the correlation is zero against an alternative that correlation is not equal to zero. And R also gives us a confidence interval for the correlation. Okay, um, now let's get the least squares line to try to describe the diameter of a tree as a function of the age uh, by using a line. And so we can use the function called LM. And so what I'll do is I'll assign the um, linear model object to an object that I'll call model. You can use whatever name that you want. And so I'll use the function LM, Y, against x. So this will fit a line against our data. And then we can display the model. And here we see that the intercept is around 1 and the slope is around 1.647. We can also display more information by using the function called summary. So summary of x, oh, not x, sorry, but summary of the model. And then here we see much more information. So as I go up, so what does it give us? So it gives us a call to linear models, some information about the residuals, 
and then we have the coefficient estimate for the intercept and estimate for the slope and then we also have some descriptive statistics so here for example we have r squared this is our coefficient of determination so 90 per 90% or 90 90.4% of the variation in diameter of the trees are explained by the age of the tree. And then we also have a p-value, which is the same as a p-value for the test for the significance of the correlation. This is the test for the significance of our regression. This is to test that the slope is equal to zero, um, which we see here as well on the line for the coefficient of x. So p-value is very, very small, so the slope is not zero. All right, so this is correlation and simple linear regression with R. Have a good night.